Oh, breakfast is ready. 72,000 people? What kind of will is, like, how am I even going to write down all the names? Hey, like, vlog. So, today we're just going to be doing a little day in my life. Um, just going to pack orders, go to the post office, and stuff like that. And my inventory finally came. The restock is July 8th, and I cannot wait. So, yeah, let's get into the video. And I'm catching this, baby. Package of my new tubes from the king. You know, when I say, oh, y'all can't even see. Oh, well. When I say I've been waiting for this, like, it was supposed to come last Friday, but it didn't. And then yesterday, the package was saying it was being held by customs. And I was panicking because, like, that never happened before. But look at God, it just came the next day. So, so y'all get to see the tubes first. I am coming up with one new collection. And y'all going to see what the collection is going to be like. When I drop the picture, I want to give no hints. So, okay. Um, I don't want to put the box in my bed. Okay. Okay, so these are the new tubes. Not, only a certain collection is going to be in these tubes. And here's how they look. I don't really like them that much. The pink is not showing how I wanted it to, but it just says Nice Mix Mini Gloss Collection. They're just like my bigger tubes, which are these ones. Yeah, I should use the other pink shade. So these are how my regular tubes are. Just as Nice Mix. Basically my older tubes, not really older, but okay, let's see if you can see better. Yeah, like these tubes, you can see the pink more because like I use a different shade like a darker pink shade but this one I was trying something new and I used a lighter pink but like you can still see it but it's just not as dark as that one if it makes sense but they're still cute and yeah these are the tubes for the new collection these are the regular collection so I can finally start working on the inventory y'all because when I tell y'all I've been panicking I'm like this restock is literally next week Thursday and I haven't started making any lip gloss and I'm making two new glosses so i have to first restock my 10 other glosses and they make two new glosses so it was like i was going crazy but glory to god it came and i actually changed the tops on the squeeze tubes to white i don't even know why i did that to me i just feel like the silver was kind of ugly so let me even find those dang So cute though, might be gonna lie. They're still cute. Let's take. I just need to use hot pink for the outline next time instead of light pink. Okay, where are the squeeze tubes at? I'm trying to show you guys. Okay, here are my top. And she got these tubes all the way at the bottom. I didn't get a lot because y'all first at first I used to sell more squeeze tubes than wand tubes, but now I started selling more wand tubes than squeeze tubes. So like I don't buy as many squeeze tubes anymore. Even though all these are obviously gonna be sold out, but I didn't buy a lot. Because I focus on my wand tubes more now. So this is how they look now with the white cap. Oh, I think I like these more. So, now that all of the inventory is here, I can finally start working on the restock. But first, I need to pack up all my orders from last week, go to the post office, and then we can start making lip gloss. So, if I start making lip gloss now, I'm not going to make it to the post office. And I need to ship these orders out because I don't want to have too much orders when I restock. Like, I don't want to have past orders and new orders because then it's like some people have been waiting longer than others, and I don't like that. So, yeah, now we can pack it. Okay, so let's pack some orders. Um, My mailing bucket is actually in my car, but we're just gonna pack these orders in a hurry because y'all, it's already raining. Literally, the weather in Houston has been so sad. Literally rain every day, every day. I'm just praying that it doesn't rain this weekend because we're supposed to be going on a little vacation and it's gonna be sad if it rains. Like 4th of July weekend really in the rain. 
I'm just praying that it's raining all this rain during the week. But when it gets to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's cleared up. So, oh my God, it's raining hard. How am I, I hate driving the rain. How am I going to go to the post office? Oh, God. Okay, so here are the mailers. Um, so, we're just going to start off. One of these orders was a test print because I got, like, these this giant box labels. I can't show that because the box is really heavy. I got this giant box labels from UPS but i didn't know how to put it in my machine that may sound crazy but that's the truth like the ups labels were different from the regular labels that i usually get so i didn't know how to put in the machine so i had printed out a test label just to make sure it was printing right and let me just say the ups labels like you see me back ups these labels are so much better than the cheap ones you buy on amazon like you can get seven thousand labels for free on ups.com just make an account okay so let's pass this order real quick Hold on, let me, um, I have to separate all of these and then put the order sheets next to it so it can be easier. So one second. Okay, I'm back vlog. So we're just gonna pack some orders real quick. I don't know if I should talk or do a speed through. We're just gonna see. So this first lovely customer ordered just a cereal milk squeeze tube. So I'm just gonna put it in all these baggies. I don't really, okay let me explain the reason i put them in the bags because i just feel like it's ugly if you just put the tube inside of the inside of the boat mailer but then i feel like it's a waste of money if you get organza bags because who really keeps those like most people get their product out of the bag and they throw it away so that's the only reason i don't use organza bags but here's her packing slip add some confetti Wait, did I already put a thank you card? I don't know. Also, a thank you card. I have business cards, but they're too far away, so I'm just using thank you cards. And we just put some confetti at the top so it can be cute. Y'all hear the rain. And then we seal it off. Add the sticker. And you're done. Okay, I'm probably gonna do a speed through through the rest of this because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't want to listen to me talk all this time. She ordered milk tea. This is currently our best selling gloss. This is milk tea. Currently one of our best sellers. Everybody loves this gloss ever since I released it. And it's funny because when I made it, I did not think people were going to like the gloss. To be completely honest, like, I did not think it was that cute. But y'all, TikTok went crazy over this gloss. And it literally sold out when I made the video, so... We have to restock this and many more glosses, literally. So, that's how it looks. We used to have lip gloss boxes, but literally, well, we still have them, but I don't have enough of the pink ones. The pink ones is what I use for regular glosses, and I use black for nude glosses, but I just feel like I have only a little left, so I don't want to have somebody to order five glosses, and then three of their glosses come in a box, and the other two don't. It looks stupid, so I just stopped using them. But I really could have used it for this order since you only ordered one box, but I didn't think about that. I just ordered one milk tea. Add a thank you card. Got to put her packing slip. Some confetti. Guys, I don't know how I'm going to get to the post office. It's literally raining. I hate driving in the rain. Uh, and there we go.
vlog so i just finished packing all the orders here they are this is like 10 orders i believe i have more orders to do but they're not being shipped right now because i have to restock all of my inventory as you can see all the tubes are here and i need to restock so i can't really pack any more orders because i don't have any more lip gloss in stock so now let's go to the post office now we're in the car if you're wondering why it's a little bit different i'm in my mother's car today she said i could drive her car so why not let's take it for a test drive this the she just got this car as i never driven it before and she said i can drive it today so that's what we're doing and i just put all the packages in this little bag because usually i have so many packages i can never use this bag this is back in the old days when i first started my business i used to carry this bag but now i always have so many orders i can never use it so i'm actually happy today that i have a little so i can carry my old bag and yeah my mailing bucket is in my car which is right there so that's why i'm not using that because i didn't want to go in my car get the bucket just to throw this in there when i already had a bag so yeah it's raining it's really dark and gloomy so that's why the lighting looks really bad but we're just gonna have to thug it out today let me figure out how to turn the windshield wiper on in case the rain starts again because i never okay let me drive because i'm not gonna record while i'm driving today because my camera setup is in my car and this is too much work so see you guys at the post office so yeah guys i decided to go to burger king i don't really eat fast food like that the only thing i eat well i don't consider it fast food is chipotle that's the only thing i eat like 24 7 but today i just feel like eating a burger it's been a long time since i ate a burger so we're at burger king and y'all i'm really feeling this car my mom said she didn't like the car that much well this isn't her permanent car the car that she bought but one of the lights turned on so she took it back to the dealership and they gave her this car to drive around while they were fixing whatever's wrong with the car so she says she doesn't like this car she likes her the car that she bought which is a kia but this is a toyota rav i think something like that y'all this car is nice like this is the kind of car i would drive when i have kids like this makes me feel like a mom kind of car like the way the music is just hidden and the ac is like blowing good like i like this car her kia is nice she has a kia saranto or something y'all i was at the dealership when she bought the car but i was not paying attention yeah, it's a Kia something. Sereno, Saranto, I don't know how to pronounce it. But yeah, that car is nice, but I like this car better. But I haven't driven the car that she bought two days ago either, so I don't know how that one feels. But I'm feeling this car. Even though it's not her car, I'm feeling this car. But I guess whenever I drive her actual car, I'm going to let y'all know if I like it more. But this car is definitely winning. I don't like this car more than Amy. Amy's my baby. Amy's the first car I ever bought with my own hardworking money. So I love my car, but this is nice. Like, this is nice. Like, uh, this is a nice car. But yeah, I'm just waiting to get my food. I ordered a Whopper meal, size medium. Because I don't know, Burger King drinks are big. So if you get a large, like who's really gonna drink all that? And I hate wasting drinks. And they don't sell Powerade here. So I'm kind of mad I have to get Sprite, but it's okay. Because I have Powerade at home. I'm finna pour the Powerade inside the Sprite. And it'll make it taste better. Because I don't know, I'm not really a soda type of person anymore. But they don't sell Powerade here. And I'm not about to order water when you already pay for drinks. So that's why that's Sprite. Let me move over before I hit my mom's so mother. That would be bad. She would never let me drive again. I am too far from the window. How am I gonna? This is embarrassing. I'm swiping my credit card because I didn't bring my actual debit card. Okay. Thank you. See, I always say thank you. Nobody ever says you're welcome. Back. My feelings be hurt sometimes. Can I have ketchup, please? Okay. Ketchup, please. says you're welcome anymore like do people just not say that anymore it's kind of hurt my feelings but let me get back to jamming to my music because i finally connected my phone to bluetooth so let me jam hey guys so i'm finally back home and y'all so two days ago i did a little giveaway on tiktok and now the video has 72 thousand comments over 72,000 comments and i'm everybody's comments like oh my gosh three o'clock three o'clock who's the winner and i'm just looking like how am i supposed to read through 72,000 comments like 72,000 people commented like how am i supposed to actually read through all the comments and pick someone 
like I actually want to pick a winner, but it would be mean if I just picked the first comment I see, which is someone that commented 30 seconds ago versus someone that commented two days ago. It's like, how am I supposed to actually read this? When I do giveaways, I never expect this many people to comment, but like 72,000 people, I don't even have 72,000 followers. So where did all y'all, where did all y'all come from to enter this giveaway? It's just like, why does this happen to me whenever I try to do something nice? Like, I was expecting 100 comments, then I put it in that little spin wheel thing, pick a winner and be done. But 72,000 people? What kind of wheel is, like, how am I even going to write down all the names? Like, this is so hard. But, y'all, I'm about to eat my food. And then I'm going to start working on the glosses because that's really what's important okay, right now. Okay, so after experimenting, I came up with these two glosses. Well, this is only one shade. I tried to make another shade, but the green wasn't coming out how I wanted to. So, now I'm choosing another boba. This one's going to be called Tarot, probably, because that's what it looks like. And I tried to do matcha, but it was not coming out right. So, I'm mad. I just wasted all that base. But, oh, well we move on so i have to um find a new gloss i want to make and that's what i'm about to do right now so i'm just happy that this shade came out cute and i'm about to take pictures because i haven't posted anything on instagram today it's already five o'clock so there is that and i need to finish this vlog soon so i can actually edit it but okay. yeah hey guys i'm pretty sure some of you guys are wondering where is this girl headed to now you guys should already know where i'm going i'm going to chipotle it is 12 17 Wednesday. I started this vlog yesterday and I was making lip gloss the whole night and I don't really record my lip gloss making process because it's entirely too much work to set up the camera without getting lip gloss space everywhere. Like it's just better if I make the gloss and I just show y'all when I'm done. I don't really like to record it. Even the like little ones I do on TikTok, I literally only film filling one two because it's too much work to record putting on gloves for the camera and all that kind of stuff. It's just too much, so I don't do that anymore. But I will show you guys all the glosses that I've done so far. I really haven't done that many. I've only made three shades out of 12, so I still have a long way to go. But I'm deciding to buy myself Chipotle today because I don't feel like making anything to eat in the morning. Like, I've been awake since like 8, and I went back to sleep, and I woke back up at 10. And I was handling some stuff, so then I was like, since. I did a, some work yesterday. I should get Chipotle. That's not, I didn't really even give myself a reason to get Chipotle. I'm gonna get Chipotle regardless, like without a reason. But I like to tell myself I'm buying this because I did something for my business, so that's the only reason I'm getting it. But to be honest, I already planned to get Chipotle anyways. But yeah, so we're on the way to Chipotle. Um, about to get my bowl. I'm gonna be feeling so much better after I eat this Chipotle. Who's honking? I'm gonna make, I'm gonna try to finish all the glosses if I can. I probably won't finish to be completely honest because I have a lot of gloss to make. But I'm going to try to get through three more shades today. So then I'll have six out of six done. Because uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Or is today Thursday? What is today? I think today's either Wednesday or Thursday. Because I know Friday I'm supposed to go to a graduation party. And then Saturday is our vacation. And I'm not coming back home until Monday. And then the restock is literally on Thursday. So I have a lot to do. I still also have to make lip scrubs because all those are sold out. I believe I have to make bundles as well. It's like so much I have to do. So hopefully I get a lot done today just so I'm not like going crazy when it gets closer to restock day. Yeah. See you guys when I get to Chipotle. Hey guys, so I just realized I didn't even vlog that much yesterday. Like I recorded one clip driving to Chipotle and I never finished the vlog, y'all. That's embarrassing, but I really didn't make that much gloss yesterday. I'm really disappointed. I let that whole day go to waste. But I'm not letting it go to waste today. I'm about to... The vlog is done. Like, this is the end of the vlog. And the next vlog y'all gonna see is the vacation vlog. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you want to see on my channel. And I'll definitely bring that to you guys. Don't forget the restock is July 8th. 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can sign up for my text message notifications and get early access on restock day because... I'm praying this is a sold out restock. So if you want early access, subscribe to my text message list and you'll get that, that password link. And yeah, love you guys. Peace.